We went to Miami and we showed our complete tail and cut up and brought a baby home. <laughs> brought a baby home. Guys, on the you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and today is gonna be a special crazy never thought i would be recording video oh it's really like this is really a surprise <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and jump right into it so this video for me i mean it's not gonna be sensitive but don't be in my comments talking crazy because i don't play like that okay Okay, anyway, so I'm recording this video very much in advance. Like today is August 24th, which is, you know, a friend. <laughs> anyway, it's August 24th and I'm currently recording this video early because I want to go ahead and start recording, you know, moments and stuff just to go ahead and have so that I don't miss stuff and so that I won't miss recording things for you guys either i want you guys to be a, a part of the journey and everything so i want to go ahead and start recording these things and then that way i can have it ready for when it's time for me to you know edit and upload i've been keeping it a secret not even a secret i've just been kind of keeping it under wraps until i know for sure what's going on and you know how i'm moving with everything and you know the direction that i'm going to take with this stuff but so i have a surprise for you guys so basically the surprise is your girl's prego. <laughs> Can you believe it? Your girl has a bun in the oven for real. Mrs. Never gonna have a child. Mrs. I wanna be the rich auntie. You know, all of that. Your girl is pregnant. <laughs> Ah, so let's just back up and rewind. I'm gonna tell you guys the story time of how I found out where and when I got pregos and all of this other stuff. How far along I am, you know, all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. So first off, I feel like Father's Day is in June, like the end of June. I don't know if it's, oh yeah, it is. It's in June, I think. So yeah, in June. So in June, <laughs> it was Father's Day. The man that I that you know is fathering my child. He has twins already. He has twins. Yes, I'm, I'm a second baby mom. Whatever, you know, the, that's what I am. <laughs> I'm the second, I'm the second one. <laughs> but yeah, he has twins already. So he was spending Father's Day with his twins. And I was just feeling so, I wouldn't even say sick. I was so nauseous, like not throwing up, but I was nauseous. I was hot, nauseous, dizzy. Not, I was like, I wouldn't say dizzy, but it was just a feeling like, this is crazy. But if you know me, when, I, when my body overheats, you know, I start to kind of feel sick anyway. Also excuse the burping. It comes with the territory, okay? Anyway, so I text him like, you know, I'm feeling so sick. We're trying to get food for my granddaddy for Father's Day. And, you know, I just, I really can't eat like that. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of mess. And he literally texts me back and he said, he said, you're probably carrying my child. <laughs> and I was like, boy, but it's just hot outside. I don't even play like that. I don't even play on my top like that. So he was just like, he was adamant. Like, he was like, I know, like, I'm going to come over tomorrow. And I'm going to bring you test. And you're going to take the test. Because I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I already know what's going on. So, I'm just like, whatever. Like, now I'm nervous. I'm like, he a little too. He a little too like I know. And he done, he, he's already done this before. So, like, he already know. So, I'm like, whatever. So, he come over the next day. And he give me the box of tests. Which is three tests in there. And the first test I took, it was the one that, like, had the lines on it. It has a line and a little circle. And then the big circle, it'd have a plus in it if you're pregnant. So it was a 20 second rapid test, now number one. So I took the test, I gave it 20 seconds, and only the line, the little line popped up, which is supposed to mean negative, right? So I'm like, I'm lit, I put the test down, cause I was getting ready to go, if you guys do not know. Um, most of the time I volunteer at um, my local high school, where I used to cheer at, I volunteer with like their practices um, for like trying out. I do like their tryout stuff and help to judge um, their tryouts. So I was getting ready for that, to go see my friend Bree, which you guys should know who Bree is. So I'm in there like brushing my teeth, finishing, getting ready. I'm lit now like I told you don't play with me like 
Boy, you ain't did nothing. So I get done brushing my teeth. I ain't even look at the test again. I literally picked the test up and I just handed it to him. And I was just like, you thought you had me. It's hot girl summer. Like we're not even playing like that. So I'm putting my purse on. I'm turning to walk out. And he says to me, Babe, how you missed the other line? And I turn around like, boy, quit playing. <laughs> quit playing with me. Let me see that test. Because you, you want to play this early, this late, this the day. Like, stop playing with me. He hand me the test back, y'all. Pull a sign sitting right in that circle. I'm like, no. Like, I, I set the test out too long. That's all what it is. I set it out too long, so it's wrong. So he like, no, like I told you. So I'm like, mm, I don't even want, I don't even want to hear about it. So I leave. I go to do that. I talk to Bria about it. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what the world? Like this is crazy. I never planned. Like I mean, most of, you know, most of time you don't play in this type of stuff, but I really never planned this. Never thought about it. So I get back home and I took another one. Same thing. I'm gonna show y'all pictures of the, of the three tests that I have, which I took five. I took five at home tests, but he took I think two of them because he wanted to keep them. So I got three of them, but took another one that had the lines on it, positive again. And I was still very much like, I don't believe it. So the third test I took that day, cause he brought me a box of three. It was a yes or no test. And I took it and it very plainly said, yes. And I sent it to him and he was like, yeah, that test said, stop asking me. You Are you, are we clear now? Which I still wasn't clear, still had to get more tests. Took two more tests, I all said yes, I was positive. I was just like, oh my gosh, still don't believe it. So I called my, my family doctor to let them do a test, which was, they was like, it was just a regular test, positive. They ended up talking about congratulations. I'm like, no, cause I still don't believe it. So I finally do a, um, I go to my OBGYN, I get a test to take my blood, I do everything. She come in talking about congratulations. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is crazy. Like honestly, I found out literally the day before my missed period, I found out. So I found out at four weeks, four weeks. Crazy. So then she sent me an appointment to go to my ultrasound. So me and him went to the ultrasound, went to go look. I was eight weeks at that time. And do I have ultrasound? I put a picture of my ultrasound screen so you guys can see. But went to go do my ultrasound, eight weeks, and there was literally a baby in me. That was what it took to really like sit on me, like put the down on me. You are really having a baby. Like you are really carrying a baby. This is crazy. Like you really have a baby. So now it is dawned on me. And that was, this was really the reason why I quit doing OnlyFans. That was also the reason why I quit dancing. And that's also the reason why I never thought that I would be back at my job. I came back to my job at a higher position, of course. So I work more hours, I make more money. So I'm back to working, which life happens. Like I'm literally a mama now. I have to, I gotta move like a mama. <laughs> I have to move like what I think a mama would move like, you feel me? So all of that, so that's at eight weeks which when I put the picture up, I, you know, put the date. So like I said, I found out, um, so I found out July 20th. I had my ultrasound in eight weeks, which I'll put the date for that because I don't remember, honestly. And when the day I'm making this video, I, this, the beginning of 13 weeks, I'll be at the end of the first trimester next week. So I would, this video will be definitely coming out in the month of September because I don't want to broadcast my pregnancy until I'm in the second trimester until I'm, you know, past all the crazy things and stuff like that. And hopefully, I'm hoping that by the time I do this video, I can have an updated ultrasound because I really want to do another ultrasound so I can see, you know, what my little munchkin is doing right now, you know. My, my nickname, until we figure out the gender of the baby, we call the baby Snow Cone around here because um my baby's father, he... Went, so, y'all be getting off track. Y'all pregnancy brain is a real thing. I really don't know what I was talking about. Anyway, so, um, it's just really crazy. It's really crazy. It came out of nowhere. You know, we didn't really plan it. If you guys have me on social media, then you remember when I went to Miami the last time. And you know, I low-key posted the man that I was with. That's when we got pregnant. We went to Miami and we showed our complete tail and cut up and brought a baby home. <laughs> brought a baby home. So it's just so funny to think about y'all because I never would have thought, never would have thought, never would have thought. But you know, we're here. I'm very happy with everything. Oh yeah, I remember what we were talking about. I'm very happy with everything. But um, yeah, the baby's nickname is Snow Cone right now. 
to until we find out the gender. I do have names for if it's a boy or a girl. Also, I kind of want to do a gender reveal. He doesn't want a gender reveal because he very strongly believes that he already know the gender of the baby. Like he strongly believes. I kind of want a gender review. I don't want a big one. I don't want to be sitting here spending all this money on food and decorations and doing all of this stuff just for me to, you know, for me to do that because I want it to kind of be more small, more intimate. So I might just do it with like my immediate family, just something simple and just be able to record it so that I can do it for you guys or either go live and like, Instagram, I never been live on Instagram. Go live on Instagram or something. Just try to do something because I want to involve my social media people because you know, I take y'all along for everything. So if there's anything else that I want to say in it like right now, because it's still very early. I'm basically at three months. I don't really have a bump. I do, but I don't. Um, I'm carrying it mainly in my boobs at this point. They're big, but I'm gonna let you guys see. As you can see, you can't really, you can tell a little bit here. But for the most part, you know, shape's still here. But when I turn to the side, baby. Yep. Little snow cones out there. Your girl, <laughs> your girl is really sitting on pregnant. <laughs> but like I said, it's been a secret, not a secret. I just haven't told the world. Some people know, my like my close friends know, my close family know, of course, because my grandma know. So my family know. Things that I have experienced currently, I have not had any morning sickness, praise the Lord. I have no, have not had any on morning sickness. Like I said, I do burp a lot. I've been sleeping a lot the first trimester. It's been very hard. I'm getting more to the like energized part, which is why I started working. Dreams, pregnancy dreams are a real thing and they're weird very weird i dream about people i haven't talked to in years i dream about people i haven't thought of in years i dream about the weirdest things i dream about people i never met i dream about scenarios that will never happen they're crazy i wake up i literally have a sleeping schedule i be sleeping around between 10 to 12. i'm up between three to four to pee i pee a lot and then i'm back sleep probably like i said three to four so i'm about back sleep around four and I'm back up at like 7, 8 in the morning. I'm just up. It's like my schedule now. And I'm up during the day. I don't really do much. I work. I come home. If I have orders, I do orders. And then I'm here like, I want to start back doing YouTube in my free time. It's just that either I don't know what to do. I can't do too much. Like I had bought clothes from Shein to do a try on haul. By the time they came, your girl has a mini bump. And I can't fit my clothes how I want to fit them. And it's getting kind of hard to be sucking my stomach in at this point. So that's why I kind of wanted to go ahead and start filming stuff where cats out the bag. Um, that way I can start doing, you know, the content that I want to do around the stuff. Like when I start doing maternity shopping, I can do a maternity try on haul, stuff like that. So that's really the, you know, behind the everything about this, the surprise, you know. If you don't have anything nice to say along with congratulations, I really don't want to hear anything. Um, I've had time to really think about it and, you know, get my mom's reaction my grandparents reaction and um you know everything was beautiful everything was lovely i very much appreciate them for reacting the way that they did because i really was contemplating going another way <laughs> with all of this if i'm being honest so i very much do appreciate you know my family being them i appreciate the father um you know being how he is so that i can have it how i want to have it i appreciate my friends you know having the reaction that they ever had they have because you already know when you have a friend that gets pregnant, <laughs> it's just like, hey, we got a baby in the group, you feel me? So I appreciate all of them because it really helped make this whole transition a lot more smooth and for me to see it in a better light because I'm really creating life right now, you guys. Like, your girl is creating life. And it's crazy. Like, Like, it's crazy. I'm really out here about to create and birth life. The cutest little thing of life. So, yeah. That's really my surprise. That's really all, like, right now I have to think about it. I'm really going off the dome. Um, I should have wrote down, you know, little points I want to talk about. But anyway, yeah, so you guys, that's the surprise. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, I keep just saying stuff. I want to tell you guys because I'm kind of thinking about doing Vlogmas. You know, I want to do Vlogmas. I want to do it the correct way. Because last year, I didn't last year. Did I do it last year? I didn't do it last year. But the year before last, it was a mess. I was in school. It was a mess. It was a mess. So I very much do want to do vlog me. So that's why I really wanted to go ahead and like start getting it out there, make sure that it's already put out. So that you know I can get video suggestions and stuff. Cause I like I said, I work, I work like five days a week. But it's really going to be probably two vlogs a week and then 
just video like already made videos but anyway that's really all the cats out the bag like i said the bump is showing so might as well let the world know and plus i'm out the first trimester but anyway yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna try to start being you know more transparent with you guys start letting you guys go through this journey with me the ups the downs the pretty the ugly the good the bad and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it you'll make sure you like this video comment down below subscribe and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video this is sin signing off peace